What's good? It's Kevin Candy, publisher of Making a Magazine. We over here at Goodfellas Pizza and Wings. Um, we just did a little something called the Eat and Greet. I try to do it every month before um, Exposure Open Mic over at the Patchy Cafe. Just invite out some of our members. Uh, might invite out a couple of DJs, engineers, different people in the city. And we kick it, have some pizza, have some wings, have some good conversation. We had some good conversations uh, this evening. Mm -hmm. um, but I wanted to take a, a quick sidebar to talk to um, a couple of our members that just went on a 10 city tour. Uh, we got Highness over here. Uh, mm -hmm. What's your names again? I'm Miss Rebel. <laughs> I'm Queen Mai. Together, Together we're Highness. Yeah. See, they did the official introduction. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, you gotta pay extra for that. <laughs> <laughs> then I got my man Pyro Mayfield. Pyro Mayfield, man. Eastside shit. See, I ain't pay him that extra, so he ain't gonna give me the woo like request. Like, like, hold on, how much do I need to set that up with your manager? I gotta book. <laughs> so, um, so like, uh, what was it last month or the month before we uh, had an opportunity that was up on the site to um, submit to get booked on the Ten City tour, and uh, we had a lot of really good submissions, and we had ten finalists, um, and then our top five. Um, Highness and Pyro were in the top five along with an artist named Taj who was from Long Beach. And so Highness had just got picked for like two things recently. Mm -hmm. um, and they had posted an update on the site too uh, recently. So we ended up going with Taj, but Taj wasn't able to make it. So it was like- So we lucked up. So they lucked up, they lucked up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so we booked them on the 10 city tour. And then my man Pyro was in the top 10, uh, was in the top five as well. And he had, all, he had recently, um, at the top of the year, got picked to open up for Little Scrappy. It was a show in Arkansas and it was some bullshit. It wasn't tight. Uh, <laughs> like it was an issue with the, the club got shut down the day oh, of, cause wow. it was like, they had some issues with the city and it was like all this promotion like, going on about the event. Yeah. And so they, they put that shit up on the door the day of, Pyro, we flew him out and everything. He in the hotel room, like, we scrambling trying to put him on a show for little baby that's like an hour and a half away, like so. But uh, cause I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want him to be out there and not you get the yeah. So, yeah. but uh, yeah. So, <laughs> so what ended up happening is um, because he was in the top five, and then I was like, man, fuck it, like we're gonna sponsor him as well to send him on the tour because he deserved that shit. So. Uh, now, so um, just real quick, what, what was what was your experience on the on the tour? What what are you thinking about? Um. Okay, it's a lot, man. Um, it was fun. Uh, long days, a lot of driving. <laughs> Me personally, man, you know, Atlanta has a lot of rappers. Like everybody rapping. Yeah. So actually rapping out of other cities, you get a whole different type of feel for yeah. how people mm -hmm. actually view you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Atlanta, people buy it in them. You know what I'm saying? They buy it. Yeah. They look at you and be like, I rap too, so. Yeah. <laughs> in other cities, they don't, they didn't pretty much care. They didn't catch them. Yeah, yeah. You get a lot of good, a lot of real love, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. And what was your, what would you say to that? Yeah, I definitely agree with that. And I will say too, it was like a lot of the artists, a lot of the artists in the other cities, they have a lot of, a lot of oomph, you know, a lot of vigor. Like a lot, a lot of people came with energy, and was like really trying to give it their all to put on the show. Maybe because it's a competition, but even the competition in Atlanta is like, you didn't come here to win. You didn't even try today. You're asleep and rapping right now. But out there, everybody was like really turned yeah, up. Like, even in, like they, they really came with us. I was like, okay. What was what was the um, the best city for you? Um, and why? I think my favorite was Lil Rock only because Lil Rock hit me. It was like surprisingly lit. Like it started off real slow, and I'm like, man, that is not really like they not that hype like that. And then like even when we got off stage, like people were rocking, but no one really said anything. Then we went outside, and they were like, man, y'all dope. Man. <laughs> they just got lit out of nowhere at like the last hour of the night type of thing. We go back in. I got it on camera too. Like the whole place was like dancing and jumping. And we were like, what Red Bulls did everybody take? And they just hit like, like all the caffeine just hit everybody at two in the morning. Like, but yeah, they were, they were super lit. I was like, yeah, Liddy Rock. That's what I was yeah, like. Liddy Rock. <laughs> well, what would you say? Yeah. Little Rock was a good one. Um, Jackson was pretty turned up too, yeah. which was surprising because that's like a small city. But yeah, it was 
it was like everybody was super supportive there. Every single person that went up, everybody was clapping, everybody was together. Like there was not a dry, still person in that place. Everybody was supportive. Yeah. So I really like that environment. So I know Jackson ain't on your list of places. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got into some I got into altercation in Little Rock. You got look, look. With, some, with, some, with some guys. You know, Cairo had a but target you know on his forehead. And and everybody was messing with him. Got banned from the mall for life in Mississippi. He was saying in my pants. Oh, yeah. Tell you the truth, when I, when I performed Trap House in Mississippi, uh, it was lit, man. Yeah. Like I say, man, Trap House. That's good. That's my record right now. Yeah, man. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? I just enjoyed it, man. Pretty much every city for me. I enjoyed them all, man. Good yeah. and bad. That's what's up. That's you know what definitely what's up. So everything that happened bad for me, something went good in that same city. That's what's up. So I can't even complain. Now, I'm going to ask you this. Like, how was it going on tour? Is this your first time going on tour? This is my first yeah. time. First time? Such though? a long one. Uh, yeah, 10 City Tour. Yeah. How was that? It was not um, as fun as I think some people would want to imagine it. Like, it's not, it's, like, basically, like, it's not all fun and games. Like, it's work. You know what I'm saying? It's work. Uh, Every city be like, we're gonna go to the pool today. No, <laughs> we're gonna go to the pool today. No, okay, today we definitely hit the pool. Yeah. No, nope. like I don't think we went to the pool but yeah. one time. And, like, and y'all made the whole experience of it. It was like all kind of stories. And, <laughs> was, like, yeah. the pool. was that the one with the indoor outdoor pool? No, yeah, man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Slide off the roof and shit. And we didn't even get to dip our toe in that mud. So and then, that's what I'm and then when we finally did have time, we said, "Oh, we got four hours. We got here early. Let's go to the pool." This hotel ain't got no pool. Right. As <laughs> soon as we had time, we got the pool. So yeah, it was it was situations like that. I think we did have our little fantasies of like kicking it, yeah. but nah, it was really no time for that. It was like you know perform. Get to the hotel, um, you know, performances be ending at like 3 in the morning. Get to the hotel, next morning we're back on the road, going to the next city. We get there, we only got a few hours really to get ready, shower, woosah, whatever, before we go to the next show. So it was really like back to back. You really got to feel, or kind of like understand when when you hear celebrities talk about like, I'm so tired of being on tour. Like, I, by the 10th day, I was like, Can I ask real quick? I'm so tired. It was Wusa a metaphor for the, get high? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was yeah, like, oh, uh, Wusa. Wusa. We gonna put that in the subtitles. <laughs> No, for you, what was like the, the, how did the expectations of uh, tour meet the reality of tour, was it? Um, honestly, going on tour, I really didn't know what to expect, but you meet a lot of new people, you know. Mm -hmm. um, you get the, you know, one thing about tour, you got a lot of people, so you got a lot of people want to do a whole bunch of different things, so yeah. you pretty much got to, you got to try to find a rotation for everybody so everything yeah. goes smoothly, but shit, as far as traveling, nah, you know, pretty much getting that car, you drive to the next state, you get to the hotel, you got your couple hours, get dressed, because I already a lot of people, so everybody got different times so from. By the time you get to the car, everybody ready to go, you perform, you come home. One night we went to Bourbon Street and we went to New Orleans, though. Yeah, 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 that's all that. But I was there at the end. We went there in the beginning, yeah. so we didn't really, like, we didn't go to no strip clubs, we didn't really do nothing, because it was in the very beginning. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, yeah. If it would have been at the end, we would have yeah. probably turned up. Yo, how was that? Like engaging with other artists and producers in these other markets. I know you spoke to that just seeing the difference, like how you get used to how things go in Atlanta. How was that going out to these other markets? And that, the one thing about networking, like I say, it's easy. You know, people don't, they're not really scared about coming up to you or telling they like your song. So we pretty much, you just gotta engage in good conversation. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, some, you know, some, I perform a lot. Mm -hmm. So I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I do get a lot of good crowd reaction. A lot of people come up to me. But sometimes yeah, I perform in front of fucking 100, 100 plus people. And nigga, two people might come up to me. Mm -hmm. So the way I network, I have to go talk to people. So on the tour, people would come to talk to you. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was a tad bit easy. No problem. What would you say? What as far as the networking mm -hmm. and, and engaging with the like the artists and the, the talent that was in these other markets when I was on tour, how was that different or what would you say about that? Um, I kind of feel like it was the same. Yeah, a lot of people was just like, it was the same type of, um, 
Hey, we finally get to contact this person. And I feel like because we're a little different in the sound, it's gonna be like a certain type of person that likes our sound. Yeah. That wants us to be like, hey, how are you doing? Mm -hmm. So it'll be a different type of. But it was pretty much the same as, as Atlanta. Yeah. yeah. But one thing was cool too, yeah. like going on this tent tour oh. with Pyro and um, um, uh, Lady, the people. Lady um, <laughs> Storm, yeah, and like different people. It was like you really became um, fans of other people too, mm -hmm. which is cool because yeah. like yeah. you know what I'm saying, yeah, like right uh, Pyro, uh, 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 Shakespeare, yeah. uh, Michael, <laughs> Riel, yeah. like uh, Emma, yeah. yeah, 14, <laughs> like certain. Songs is like even after the tour, it's on our SoundCloud, it's on our playlist. Yeah. We play it all the time now. So it's like you really yeah. do, yeah. you, know, like you really do like become fans of people's music. You know what I mean? And become like just general like low key fans of people. And hopefully people became fans of us. So that's like yeah, what you hope happens. Y'all you know? in heels and shit, <laughs> flipping and jumping on tables <laughs> and shit. Like what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> And, and that's one of the, the dopest things about it, with the, doing the tour, is being able to see people develop camaraderie. Yeah. Like, and it's like yeah. it's so hard to do that when you when we do these open mics and we showcase. That's one of the reasons why we did like the the concert that we did last year. And we, we're probably gonna do it again this year because uh, when we did the concert, we had rehearsals, we did photo shoots, we did all that shit because we want y'all to be around each other and, and be able to critique each other and give each other feel, feedback. So that was a that was a huge thing. So with y'all going on tour, that was one of the things that I wanted y'all to be able to do is to, to develop camaraderie with the other artists that you're on tour with. Yes. Yeah. So, but um, I just wanted to take a take a moment to interview you guys, talk to you guys about the, the experience going on tour and everything. Um, y'all got any last words for the people? I just want to say thank you, making the man, for all the opportunity I've been you, man. It's been plenty on the table. I hope I get plenty more. I'm trying to come for this. I'm coming, man. I promise, man. Power may feel, man. Woo! Like Ric Flair. Let me take my PayPal. I think we just got charged. <laughs> No, like everything he said plus more. Uh, man, I'm telling, like I was telling them earlier, we sat on making a rag for a year and didn't do shit, didn't post nothing, didn't apply for anything. I don't even know what the hell he was doing. But ever since we started putting some type of energy into making a mag, we've been getting something back. So uh, it's definitely worth it. It's definitely worth it. Yeah. These are real opportunities. And we are real people. Listen, they're gonna be. They're gonna be. They're gonna be in your inbox. Yeah. I swear. Every every single person that we do, it be people in their inbox. How much they paying you to? You you work for them. Like this is this is what it is. You're gonna get this because you know we're gonna promote this and right yeah. like that's why we do these videos as a way to co-brand and co-promote the artist yeah so we're gonna do some campaigns on this and you don't have people in your inbox like that should really work <laughs> how long yeah. you look like is that your brother <laughs> all kind of shit I can see you. Yeah. <laughs> But um, but nah, definitely like that's really what the the whole thing we're doing this membership was about is like you know we was talking about that that nation building stuff and community stuff like this is really where it started for me was wanting to be able to help um, give voices out there like it's a lot of dope ass artists and creatives that I mean at the end of the day this this thing is about money and but a lot of times the the fact that people don't have as much as they need it silences their voices so we wanted to create a platform where it's just about being dope. And like everybody that we sponsor for these opportunities, do these things, they they earn it. And um, I appreciate y'all for being members on the site. And just I, I'm glad you had a good time. That's what this was all about. So um, appreciate everybody for watching this video. If you made it this far into it, you could have clicked on any one of these other things. We out. <laughs>